He slipped on the fruit and spun round till he was dizzy. Zutalo, he yelled. I wonder where Zazu went, said Mimi. He must... He must be here somewhere, said Katie, as they dashed away. Hey lass, said Mimi, I shall never find him and he'll be lost in the gallery forever. Nonsense, said Katie, I can hear a dog barking. They followed the noise and there at the end of the corridor was Zazu. <gasps> he had dropped the sunflower and was barking at a bright red dog in a painting called Tahitian Pastorals by Paul Gorgwin. The, do the other dog barked back and Zazu jumped inside the picture. Your dog is nothing but trouble, said Katie, as they clambered after him. Zazu and the red dog barked at one another, wagging their tails. Welcome to our island, said two beautiful women. It was very peaceful, full of scented lilies and blossom, with the sea lapping on the beach. Phew, said Katie, it's very hot here. Let's go for a paddle. While Zazu and the red dog ran about on the sand, Katie and Mimi splashed around in the sea. Zazu was busy digging a hole when all of a sudden he disappeared. <gasps> Where has he gone? said Mimi. Katie looked into the hole. It was very large. Right at the bottom she saw Zazu sitting on top of a big chest. Mimi and Katie slowly opened the lid. It was full of gold coins. <gasps> Pirate treasure, said Katie, <gasps> showing the women. What will you do with that? <gasps> we don't use money on our island. We have everything we need, they said. You can have it if you want. Katie took a handful of coins and thanked the women. Then she, Mimi and Zazu went through the frame and back into the gallery. Katie quickly picked up the sunflowers before Zazu could grab them again. We'd better put these back, she said. Which way is it? I'm not sure, man me, said Mimi. I think we're lost. Then they saw Zazu sniffing at something on the ground. Sunflower seeds, said Katie. Zazu's left a trail of them. What a clever dog. I'm glad he came after all. Mimi gathered Zazu up in her arms and they followed the trail of sunflower seeds back to the Kazan still life. They carefully put the fruit back and then went into the cafe. Picture by Van Gogh. The waiter was standing there with a piece of paper in his hand. It's a bill, said Mimi, for the cakes and everything. Katie dug into her pocket and took out the gold coins. Is this enough? She said to the waiter. Mercy, he said, looking very pleased. You may eat cakes when here whenever you want. And he climbed back into his picture. Then Katie and Mimi followed the seeds back to the sunflower picture. Katie collected a few seeds and wrapped them in her hanky and put them in her coat pocket. Then she carefully put the sunflowers back. Almost as good as new, said Katie. Thanks for coming with me. I'm glad I did, mon ami, said Mimi. It was fun. And she hopped into her picture with Zazu. Katie ran off to find her grandma, who was just about to wake up. Oh! Shall we see if it stopped raining, Grandma said. It hadn't, but Katie didn't mind. Rain is good for the garden, she said. It will make everything grow. That's all for now, guys. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Take care, be good, be kind and stay safe.